Howdy, I'm Andrea Howard of your Fighting Texas Aggies women's basketball team. And welcome to another episode of Open Gym, your behind the scenes look at everything Texas A&M women's basketball. In this edition, we will take a look back at our last seven games, spread some holiday cheer, travel to a magical place, and catch up with some former teammates who have reached the ultimate goal of student athlete. Now let's take a look back. Before we would take on Southern in the Campbell Center in Houston, we would visit the clinical center at the Texas Children's Hospital to bring smiles and basketballs to the kids during a holiday season as they go through a difficult time in their lives. The following day, we got back on the court with the 81 to 58 victory over Southern. Kyla led the scoring with a career high of 22, followed by Jasmine Lumpkin, who had a career high of 17. After the game, we got on the road to travel to Orlando for the Florida Sunshine Classic to face Dayton and the number 19 Syracuse. Before the tournaments, my teammates and I had a chance to bond as we got an opportunity to visit the Magic Kingdom at Disney World. We will fall to the Dayton Flyers in the first game of the Florida Sunshine Classic, but wouldn't have time to dwell on the loss, as we had to face the number 19th ranked Syracuse Orange the following night. They were last year's national runner-up, so we knew we had to play our best. We will lead Syracuse by as many as 14 during the first half and ended with a 53-45 halftime lead. We were able to take control of the game in the second half as we hit our first seven shots of the third quarter. We scored 100 plus points for the first time in program history against a ranked team, and for the first time against any team since the 2010-2011 season. We would finish the game shooting a season high of 60% from the field, 45% from behind the arc, and 85% from the free throw line. After Christmas, we finally came back home to close out the non-conference part of the season with the home victory over Prairie View a and We would go 10 and three within that time frame. SEC play was finally here. Vanderbilt came out strong as they led by as much as 13 with 6.45 left in the third quarter. But we were able to go on a 10-1 run to lead the start of the fourth frame as we would never trail after that and by hitting nine of our 10 free throws to seal the victory. It was Texas A&M's largest comeback since Aggies erased the 13-point deficit to defeat number 23 Tennessee 76 to 71 in overtime on February 7, 2016. After falling to the Georgia Bulldogs on the first conference road trip of the season, we would stay on the road and travel up to Lexington and defeat the 24th ranked Kentucky Wildcats, 77 to 68. We would fall behind as much as nine points in the first half, but would take the lead 34 to 33 at the break. In a game that featured 13 lead changes and eight ties, we pulled ahead for good with a tie-breaking 7-0 run. Curtis Knox would seal the victory with the off-balance desperation two-pointer with 47 seconds left. Tease would lead the team with 26, Danny Williams had 19, and Kyla had a double-double with 16 points and 12 rebounds. This would snap a 15-game win streak for Kentucky at Memorial Coliseum. We are now 2-0 on the season against ranked opponents. Last month, Chelsea Jennings and Courtney Walker were able to reach the ultimate goal of a student athlete. They were two of 33 student athletes at Texas A&M who would graduate this past December.
It's been a long four years. I'm just really excited to graduate from the Texas A&M University. This family atmosphere, my teammates, and these professors, they just made it a great experience for me. It feels great to graduate from A&M, uh, especially just all the pride that we had when we came in. And for us, you know, to finally uh, cross and be uh, a graduate is, is really an honor. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Open Gym. We will see you at Reed Arena. Toodles.